Hey everyone, this is Matt King with the King Piers team. We're out here on the final day of our project in Kansas City. So what we ended up doing on this project, you can see this section of the garage floor that we initially saw cut and removed. Uh, what we were originally intending to do on this project was to uh, get this section of the garage floor removed so we could have access to excavate further down alongside the foundation wall here, uh, pull out some loose stone, get a new uh, footer underneath the wall, and a CMU block built on top of that. Um, once we ended up getting the garage floor taken out and uh, we started our uh, excavation, we found that it was essentially just straight stone that was uh, underneath. It wasn't just dirt or anything like that. It, it was uh, solid stone holding up uh, the side of the house right here inside the garage. And uh, what they had had pre-existing right, right here, and uh, if you go back and look at our earlier videos, you can see they someone had basically poured a, a concrete cap and it was all loose, it was out of place, uh, wasn't doing much. So uh, we talked with the homeowner and what we ended up doing was pulling this entire wall back to vertical. And uh, we essentially just took out that concrete cap and uh, got everything cleaned out, got the wall pulled back into vertical. And then uh, as you can see from our videos, Earlier this week, we essentially just poured solid concrete uh, to help stabilize and keep that wall vertical along with this section of the garage floor at the same time. So, and then, because this wall is essentially uh, just kind of a uh, plaster sheetrock, um, so we got everything patched up today. You can see we just finished up our painting, so we're waiting for it to dry before we take our tape off. Uh, just wanted to try to get everything looking as nice and neat as possible uh, before we finished everything up. You can see on the outside right here the concrete that we added. Just getting everything back into place. So, and there were big gaps before we started this. So, everything is vertical now in here. Because that was the real thing that the uh, the homeowner wanted was the wall to be straight. So uh, we ensured that that is what happened. So now we're just going to finish in stages uh, again. I do uh, do recommend uh, take a look at our earlier videos from this week. We started this project on Thursday, so you can find all those videos on our YouTube and Facebook channels. Just search for King Piers LLC. Please give us a like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, again, the homeowner here is is an engineer. Uh, picked our company to uh, to do the work here. Uh, very happy with with what's taken place. So again, I do recommend going to see those videos so you can uh, take a look at the process behind uh, a project like this. Um, and it's just, it's very, very uh, cool to watch these transformations that we're able to uh, to do on these homes. Uh, so again, you can find those on our YouTube Facebook channels. Just search for King Piers LLC. You can also go to our website, www.kingpiers.com. And of course, you can always just give us a call, 816-288-4373.